uh, here we are again to announce the results of yet another major local and nationwide takedown on healthcare fraud. And we're doing it right here from Miami, which remains ground zero for these types of schemes. Now, as I stated, we are here to talk about a coordinated national takedown on healthcare fraud. Now, shortly, shortly you're going to hear from Acting Assistant Attorney General David O'Neill from the national perspective on the nationwide takedown that involved six cities, including Miami. And these strike forces are a testament to the power of partnership and collaboration. Now, nationwide, a total of 90 individuals were charged in 48 separate cases for healthcare fraud uh, related offenses and totaled approximately $260 million in fraudulent billing. Now, here, as you've come to expect here in South Florida, more than half of the defendants and half of the cases are right here from South Florida. We are announcing today charges against 50 South Florida residents in 27 separate cases. And this operation took place over two days, yesterday and today. Those charged here in South Florida include a doctor, therapists, nurses, licensed pharmacy techs, a social worker, Medicare beneficiaries, money launderers, patient recruiters, clinic, home health agency, and pharmacy owners, and office workers, including the chief operating officer of Hollywood Pavilion. All of these individuals at different levels in the fraud chain and from all ages, stemming from the ages of 20 to their 80s, had one thing in common, greed. They each tried to use the Medicare program as their own personal ATM machine and to line their pockets with our money and to supplement their income. This is unacceptable. This money belongs to the sick, to the disabled, and to the elderly.